opening cards no coffee and we're still at blue and uh who do i got caleb theodore sherman in portland maine y'all awesome so there's a whole bunch of cards and uh see something that interests you you can uh pick a pack okay. talk about it for as long as sure as you want and okay. then sign a card and you keep the others if you so desire these are freaking awesome man. Wow. and how long have you been doing comedy uh since 2017 but i fell off the face of the earth during covid right so, right 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 uh maybe i mean maybe you could call it four years and you should plug your thing. Shout really. out Empire Comedy Club is the plug. Empire uh, Comedy Club, I do not, none of the views or opinions expressed in this video are representative of the main oh, people's alliance. Okay. Well, then, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, damn, my eye keeps getting drawn to Robin Hood because I was just like, that, oh, yeah. I was that kid that was into like knights. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Medieval times. And I right. To Robin Hood's popular. The Ren Fair with my. Oh, they just have card. Parents, or, oh, those or not this one. Day, the Sherwood Forest, New York. These are freaking awesome, man. Yeah, uh, there's some good ones. Should we do Robin Hood? Whatever you want. It's up to you. The X Files would be. Pretty Maybe black it's because shit. the pen's pointing at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's like psychological. It like without even You're thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you open it up and it has your name inside. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? This is a magic It's just show, a pretty dude. crazy magic trick. <laughs> I start levitating. <laughs> oh, Howard the Duck would be sick. Wait, whoa, whoa. Howard Star the Duck's Trek? probably would too. Yeah, right. Star Trek's only opened one time. Or twice, but one guy didn't even know the movie. You know, was, like, you know I feel like I wouldn't do it the nerdy justice it deserves. Mm. I wouldn't know anything about it. Yeah. But, right, okay. Civil War cards. Civil War cards. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, the, the ones that were just opened were the terrorist attack cards. Terrorist attack cards. Yeah. Nice. Attack. They got oh, the wow. blowing up the statue. Look at that. Memory, when did man. that happen? That did never happen. That'd be wild. Wait, I guess what, these are does hypothetical it, wait, attacks. No, what does it say? It says the Statue of Liberty represents many things that are important to Americans for a full century. It is What's attack on liberty itself, not the statue? Yeah, yeah. I'm crazy. also, I had I Dick Tracy, to just, I had like Dick Tracy say comics hi to you. Mm -hmm. and all back that. in the day. Right. Um, a lot of the freaking villains are like deformed, like they, prune face, and they're, uh, there's a whole bunch of them, because someone pa opened, opened a pack, and it was like, they, all the villains were deformed, you're like, wait, this is really bad, 1930s, what's going on? I know, like. But maybe smallpox and that stuff, I don't know. Yeah. So Dick Tracy only fights bad guys with like a type of face. The first so guy looked like Leatherface. This is Little Face, his face is small. Another guy he thought, thought was a uh, prune face, his face is pruny. Scarface was one. Maybe there's Shane Gillis face. The nose. nose. Yeah, maybe there is, but yeah. But that's that. Smallpox, they were getting like waves of people with PTSD for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, horrible disfigurement. Yeah, yeah. It's kind that's, of weird yeah. they were making them all villains though. Right, exactly. That's, they should, yeah. Like, and then people saw the deer hunter. Uh, deer hunter. Yeah. yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, okay, let's just do Robin Hood. My eye All right, so go ahead. You pick it, and uh... my eye keeps getting drawn to it. I'll stay squatting. I just open this. Yeah, you just open it and uh, talk about it. However, you know, and then uh, sign one. You know, when people do card openings on the interwebs. Oh. They're very meticulous about it. You're going to get them PSA graded. <laughs> but, right, exactly. But, you know. We have uh, gloves. Right. And Those stuff. are probably baseball cards or, you know, I'll sporty ones. I'll be respectful ones. of the cards. Because there's someone out there who is like, this pack, you know. We're going to pull the thing they've been chasing. Their white whale is what we're going to pull. It's on possible. A <laughs> someone, someone complained that, um, oh, like the SNL cards that uh, Jeremiah Watkins opened was outside of the freaking viewer thing. <laughs> so they were like, they were like, okay. All right, first card is this this guy. Kind of looks like a Loki gentleman. I'm feeling he's an antihero. You know, I get that long dark hair, probably a big fucking nose. Yep, they're what an anti heroes. What a big huge freaking outfit. Though. They're always anti heroes. Those guys. Oh, uh, and that's a different color card. Look at is that maybe that's a sticker. Purple and red. Because yeah. all these oh, are red, oh, so oh. that might be a sticker. Is this like the rare in the pack? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Robin, Def oh, this is, what's that guy? What's Kevin that Costner. Guy? That's right. He's not dancing with wolves. He is shooting arrows. Here. And people complained that his accent was just not there. Robin defends his love. Robin, <laughs> you don't like, 
this is probably associated with like a game right like is that what they do is this like a magic card situation i think these were just collectible, collectible back in the day sure. you would just collect them to, and then you'd want to get them all like i've seen this card before but i've okay. not seen this one before a you wait? know just in the you know few packs a waiting battle and they're probably numbered so it'd be like oh there's like 80 in the whole set sometimes these have facts on the back sometimes some will have like puzzle pieces sometimes the sticker back will be a puzzle piece then you can also assemble a puzzle you never know what they'll do the sheriff's plot and then something like uh the peewee herman one has like a fair review that little flicker thing that the changes and stuff have a good night hey take care captured thanks for doing it man that was awesome captured oh no these are like beats from the movie will scarlet was captured then released oh well that's good that's good <laughs> will, and there he is will scarlet everybody oh uh what's that actor's name you know his name um, he does look familiar. Someone pulled him in. He got like three or four of him. Christian Slater. Yeah. I yeah, only yeah. know from other people playing the game. I've never seen this movie. Yeah. yeah. I think I did see this like, movie. Like I'm learning more and more about the stuff from, you know. Oh my God, Robin trapped? That's amazing. These totally feel like they should be like for a card game like Magic the Gathering. But this is just like dramatic moments from the movie. That's amazing. There's a guy, Dan Alton. I saw him in Bowling Green. And uh, when I told him about the one card, I'm like, oh, your card has no borders. Like It's like your special card. He goes, yeah. oh, that means I can play it. And he threw it on the ground, <laughs> which was like exactly like what you're saying. Like You've you would do activated something. my trap yeah. card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not a lot of cards have no borders. Oh. Like that's a no border card. So it's all image. So I can play it. <laughs> okay. What is this? Enter Mysterious Sherwood Forest. Shout out Renfrew. No, horseback. Kevin Costner on a horse. They love it. We love it. And Robin joins the fray. Does he even still act, that guy, that Costner? I don't even know. Oh. I see, uh, he was in, what was he in? He was in a good movie recently. Robin joins the fray. I'm, I like out. this OG. This one, though? That's my... This is my guy. Yeah. That's got to be the sticker, too. Played. Does it have a sticker on it? Yeah, there's the puzzle. See how it, that, that would be? That's oh. a part of a big puzzle. Only that piece, because that's the backing. Once you take the sticker off, you we wouldn't need a, it, so they... We got an edge piece. Yes, exactly. Of the that's castle. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so just sign guy. one for me, and then you can keep the others if you so desire. I'm going to sign the puzzle. I'll sign the puzzle. Oh, wow. Put it all together. <laughs> It'll take a long time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's a popular pack, though. The uh, I think a lot of people saw that movie and know the movie, so. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. This is the first time I've been uh, in any regard associated with comics as great as Shane Gillis. Oh, wow. And Ari Shafir. Yo, yes. Hey, uh, go see live comedy, because that's where it's happening. Hell yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. much. The farts are working, everybody. Good news for all of you. <laughs> yeah. All right, next up we got David Bacon. Hello, thank you. Uh, really want that photo, that painting in the background. Um, what were you supposed to What was it? Uh, Like, uh, obviously, we're animals, and uh, I think we've, I mean, uh, it seems like the circumcision, like, is so that, you know, I mean, we don't look like an animal, uh, but the original circumcision was a uh, sacrament to God, but they didn't cut off uh, the whole foreskin, they just cut off the tip, so you still have that foreskin fun, um, but back then, um, they all did the sports nude, so you could tell who's cut. Uh, so like, he's a Jew, not a Jew, he's a Jew, not a Jew, you know. Uh, so what the, Jew, what the Jewish dudes would do is they would uh, 
get a brass ring and they put it on their foreskin and they tug it to try to cover their, you know, make it look like they weren't cut. Uh, but I, I don't know, like, there was those crash movies, I don't know if you guys, there was like two crash movies, there was one that was like a real popular one making Oscar, then there was another one by like some cool uh, director guy where they like reenacted car, real famous car crashes and they would get off on the scar tissue and stuff. I don't know if anyone saw that. Uh, that's it's fucking great. Uh, so I don't know if that fucking circumcision thing is, you know, so that uh, like maybe we, just, we kind of scarred it. So I don't know if it actually, because, you know, the foreskin is the most, uh, like no one, it's like uh, women get fucking in Africa are getting circumcised, but fucking, and we fucking just do it to a baby boy like it's nothing. Uh, Maybe a scar is good. I mean, uh, so that's a uh, animal dong. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking, ladies, and gentlemen. My five minutes tonight might be a little meta for this young crowd. I mean, meta useful. <laughs> I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is new and it doesn't fit and I've got to work on it, but some people consider themselves left wing, others right. It really doesn't matter which side you think you're on. Like any bird, a country needs both wings to fly straight. Just try to avoid all the political droppings. It's not, it's something, I don't know. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. <laughs> College grad. The more I learn about the church, the more I think they should change the Lord's Prayer. Should it end either all boys or young men? <laughs> it's also, I don't know. They say the band playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about today's entertainers. <laughs> have you noticed older guys have a man cave while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. <laughs> My wife and I got a new dog. She likes to hide so I can't find her. When I call, she doesn't come. I think it might be the name we chose. Anyone? Perhaps we should have called it G-Spot. Come on. Could have got that. How am I supposed to wrap my head around AI when I still don't understand E-I-E-I-O? What the hell does that mean? And uh, I'm just going to end, I guess, here. Uh, if you saw that tattoo on my penis, you'd think it said fuck. But you would know it says fire truck. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> David, David.